Hi guys and welcome back to Studio One with me Gregor. So today we want to take a look at the project page, which is Studio One's approach to mastering and has always been one of the unique features that truly set us apart. The project page is one of the pages next to the song page and it's possible to link the two with each other so that at the mastering stage, if necessary, you can go back to your mixing or even songwriting stage to make the necessary adjustments. Unfortunately, I don't have the time today to go through the entire mastering process with you, but I want to show you how you can link up the song to the project so that you can truly embrace our mastering philosophy. Let's check it out. Okay, so first we have to open up our song that's at the pre-mastering stage now and ready to be exported into the project page for the final touch-ups and mastering. Okay, so with the song opened, the first question is, how do we establish this link between the song project and the actual project page so that I can break up this traditional segregation of the mixing and mastering process and jump back and forth as I please between the two? Well, that's incredibly easy to do. Just click on song, add to project, create a new project. And then you can also give a name. In this case, I'm going for the album name of this production of mine, which was Weapons of Choice. Hit OK. And now I'm greeted with this little dialog here, Update Mastering Files. When I click OK, two things are going to happen. First, Studio One is going to render a high-res 32-bit float mixed down of the master bus of our song. And second of all, that's got to be linked to the song project so that we have a direct connection between the song page and our project page. So I hit OK. And as you can see, that pre-master file is rendering now. It's been done within three seconds. I hit OK. And now this song is linked to my project. Let's just add one more here so that we have some kind of playlist going on. So I open up my second track. And it's the same procedure. Just click on song, add to project, Choose Coma Alliance, Weapon of Choice once again. Hit OK. The pre-master WAV file is being rendered. And now we have the track list of our album ready to be mastered. The project page offers everything we need for professional grade mastering. At the top right, we find the very powerful spectral analyzer, which is capable of showing only a specific dB range and also comes with an average curve and peak hold, which makes reading it a breeze. Underneath that, we find a goniometer as well as a very capable loudness meter, which can show us either peak RMS, the 3K standards, or R128 conforming LUFS metering, which is more important than ever with regards to YouTube, Spotify, and other streaming services. Then we have the obvious ability to add insert effect chains to each of our songs respectively. We can also measure the loudness of our song automatically to see how far off we are from our loudness target. And of course, we can include all of the meta information that's relevant to a release, such as the album name, the artist name, EAN codes, songwriter, composer, all this kind of information. We can also include artwork for digital release. Speaking of digital release, what I really like is that you get an M3U file rendered, which you can double click in either Windows, Groove, iTunes or other compatible players. And that's going to create a playlist automatically for you with all the correct artwork, all the meta information and the correct sorting. And it always makes for a big wow effect with clients. It just looks super professional. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the time in this quick video for a full rundown of the mastering process. I just want to give you a rough overview of the project page and most importantly, emphasize why our approach is so much more efficient and flexible than the traditional method. Now, on my first track, I've included a couple of mixing issues. See if you can spot them. Right, we can see some pretty nasty peaks between the frequencies 710 to 900 and also two and a half thousand hertz. And the drums weren't really loud enough and punchy as we want them. So if this was a traditional mastering process, we would kind of have a big problem right now because we only have this wave file to work with, right? Now we would try to get the kick drum louder by maybe adding some kind of bell EQ, but any 
changes that I do in the pre-master file will also affect any other instruments that lie in the same frequency range. So for example, the bass would be boosted as well as I'm trying to get the kick drum heard again. So a much better approach, thanks to the amazing link between the song and project page in Studio One, is to just right click your song and hit edit song. It's gonna open up the respective song project once again and you can just directly go into the same part and fix the problem right at the source. And now we also want to fix that annoying peak, that one. And here I really like to use personally the BX uh, Dynamic EQ, such a wonderful tool. And uh, let's see how it deals with the job. So the frequency was two and a half thousand hertz. And now I just adjust the threshold until the EQ starts reacting. Perfect, much less piercing to the ear. So once we're done, all that we have to do is save the song and go back to the project page. Now we're finding this red dot here. Why is that? Well, that's only because the song that we initially linked up with the project page is not identical anymore to the last save state. By clicking update up here, I can simply renew this link and what happens now is the master, the pre-master is basically being re-rendered and led into the project page in five seconds or so. So let's listen to that now. Yeah, much bigger, louder sounding drums. And a much less piercing bell sound. So as you can see, Working like this with the project page and jumping back and forth gives you the best of both worlds. You have the full control of the mixing process while having all of the metering and control of the mastering process all in one thanks to Studio One.